And we have breaking news out of Pontiac this afternoon. A judge approves an $8 million settlement in the malpractice case involving victims of former cancer doctor Fareed Fada. Good afternoon. That story does top our news this noon. Fada is currently serving a 45 year prison sentence for fraud, money laundering and conspiracy. He poisoned more than 500 patients through needles, uh, needless cancer treatments in order to collect millions of dollars from insurance companies. Our guy Gordon joins us now live from Pontiac where this was just announced. Tell us about the number of victims involved in this settlement. Well, Rhonda, there were 43 cases, and they were all heartbreaking, and they got even more heartbreaking when they heard how much money they're going to get. Remember, this is no ordinary malpractice case. He wasn't just an incompetent doctor. He was malevolent. He was evil. He gave them treatment that they didn't need. And the law is really honestly, according to the plaintiff's attorneys, just not set up to address that kind of evil. So here's what he's going to get. As you said, there's an $8 million settlement fund now. That will be divided between these 43 plaintiffs. That comes out on average to about $186,000 a claim. Not very much when you consider that these are people that lost loved ones. They are people that are facing a lifetime of medical calamities because of the chemotherapy treatments they received that they didn't need. I have one gentleman who not only received chemotherapy for that long, um, but he ended up losing both of his legs because of it. And there is no amount of money that can compensate somebody for going through that. There need to be exceptions for gross misconduct. There are no exceptions for gross malpractice. There are no exceptions uh, for situations like this. And Michigan law is horrible and getting worse with respect to hospitals being liable for what happens within the walls of their institution. Attorneys are saying they got the best in what is a very undesirable situation. Why? Because there is a $440,000 cap on any medical malpractice claim. Dr. Fada had very low medical coverage with his insurance company, only $3.5 million. And there was an exclusion in that policy that said if he did something intentionally wrong or if he did something fraudulent that they didn't have to pay. They could have walked away from this judgment entirely. So that's what the attorneys were facing. They say this needs to be revisited in the legislature. We'll have more on that coming up on later editions of Local 4 News. Uh, they'll find out when they get the money, uh, probably this fall. It will be divided up before those 43 claimants, Rhonda. Back to you. Just shows you how unprecedented his actions were. Guy, thank you. you